Eddie and Kete for the better part of two years has seemingly always been on the chopping block and always been in the rumors about leaving Arsenal. The 25 year old hell in graduate has never been a starter at Arsenal and has always been a backup that despite having some good runs at times, he's just never seemed to be quite good enough to be a starter at Arsenal. And with Nketiah playing 37 games last season, but only starting in just 13 of them, scoring just six goals and getting three assists, seeing a midfielder in Kai Havertz beat him out for the starting striker role at Arsenal, it was more than obvious that at the age of 25, with yes still having three years left on his contract, but it was obvious that Arsenal would look to sell Eddie Nketiah this summer in order for us to raise some money to compete for the Premier League. And in recent days, Eddie Nketiah, despite traveling with the team on our United States preseason tour, he has seemingly had one foot out of the door with French club Olympic Marseille, who themselves have gone through a lot of changes this summer from hiring ex-Brighton coach Roberto De Zerbi, from signing the likes of Mason Greenwood and Hoiberg. Marseille have now set their sights on Nketiah and according to Keep. Not always the most reliable source, but they're decently reliable. But Olympic Marseille and Arsenal are coming close to a deal that will see Eddie Nketiah leave Arsenal to join Marseille on a loan with an obligation to buy. But why is this move so puzzling to me? Just what has got me so upset with this move? And should we even bother selling Nketiah at all this season? Well, that's what we'll be talking about today. So what's going on everyone? You are listening to Gunner Central here. I hope you're all doing well. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. Now, the first question I'm going to answer is, should Arsenal sell Eddie and Ketia this summer? Now, going into this window and all through June and the beginning of July, my answer would have been yes. Without a question, yes, Arsenal must sell Eddie and Ketia. He's just never going to be a striker that can take us to the promised land. He's never going to be a starter for Arsenal in a fully fit team. He's not incredibly young, so you can't bank on him improving by tons. Plus, with him still having three years left on his deal, Arsenal will still have some leverage on any negotiations we have about Silent Inketia. But now, most recently, my sentiments has kind of slightly changed around Eddie Inketia. Now, that's not to say I want to keep Eddie Inketia whatsoever. I would still like to sell Eddie Inketia for all the reasons I just mentioned, but now I'm a little less desperate than I was earlier in the window. And there are several reasons for this, because it's slightly later in the window, so clubs may offer a little bit less than they would have in June or early July, because clubs have already used their budget on other signings, and a club like Arsenal, who wants to obviously sell it in Ketia, will maybe be more willing to take a lower offer than we would have in early June or early July. Another reason is this actually kind of goes in the inverse. If Arsenal sell it in Ketia, well then we definitely need ourselves a striker or at least in my opinion we do i don't think having only havertz and jesus as strikers for a whole season will cut it unless we have martinelli or trossard also play at striker occasion but if arsenal are to get a striker let's say a young backup striker from who knows where then the club we want to buy that striker from might play more hardball with us being that it was later in the window and they probably wouldn't want to sell their younger striker. And another reason I'm less desperate to sell Eddie Nketiah, like I mentioned earlier, is that if we sell Eddie Nketiah, well then we are a tad bit light up top. Yes, we will have Havertz, Jesus, Trossard and even Martinelli all able to play at striker, but I wouldn't say that that would be ideal to just have them. I would still like another out and out striker that is able to play down the middle, even just for cup games. That would be a perfect option to just keep in and around the squad when needed. If somehow we would have kept Cheeto over Martin, he would have, in my opinion, been a great third choice striker option because he wouldn't ever really play for the first team unless we get very light on the injury fronts or we have a cup game that doesn't mean much to us. So he could just play most of his time in the academy at the under 23 level and then he could come up to the first team when we absolutely need it. So if we sell Inketia and don't replace Inketia with a quality striker, a Sheshko, obviously we're not getting Sheshko, but I'm saying that level of a striker, that would still be actually fine with me. I would still like another striker though for our academy that like a Cheeto over Martin can play for our academy, but can get brought up at least on the bench in games where we're maybe a little bit light up top. So all in all, yes, we should still sell Eddie and Ketia. While he still is fairly youngish and still has three years left on his deal, we should look to sell him now, preferably. We must just be careful to not get too light in the striker departments if we do sell Eddie. So that's out the way. The next thing is, why is this proposed move to Marseille so puzzling for me 
and makes me kind of upset. Well, I've already covered this in a video about two weeks ago, but this is another instance of Arsenal just being so bad at selling players and clubs knowing that we are bad at selling, so they come in and they just lowball us for players that they want. To sell Eden Kieta for a low price is one thing, but to reportedly almost agree to a loan with an obligation to buy, seeing the fee be below his market value, according to Transmarkt, is a whole nother ball game. If this deal is made with Marseille, this would be our third first team player that we have gotten rid of using the loan with an obligation to buy this summer alone. The fee Marseille are reportedly willing to pay is 20 million euros for the obligation to buy. According to Transfermarkt, Enkete is valued at 30 million euros. So they want to take him on a loan with an obligation to buy for 10 million euros less than his market value is worth. Now, if they could at least pay his 30 million euro market value on the obligation to buy or preferably straight up, but on the obligation to buy, I'd still be reasonably happy with that. But if we agree to the deal of 20 million euros with a loan and obligation to buy, I will be shocked. And Keta is not old. We still have leverage being he has three years left on his contract. That will make absolutely no sense to me to sell him on a loan with an obligation to buy of just 20 million euros. Another thing before we end this off is I saw a report from Metro, not a reliable transfer source at all, by the way. But I saw a report from them saying that Arsenal are reportedly looking to swap Eddie and Keta for Mark Gwehi. First of all, Crystal Palace will not accept that unless we add a good 20 to 30 million euros into the deal, being that Gwehi is coming off of a perfect tournament with England, seeing England get all the way to the final. Plus, in what world? Like, honestly, in what world would Arsenal look to get another centre-back, especially when we've just added the likes of Calafiori, even though officially we haven't, we pretty much, for the most part, have added Calafiori. That would make absolutely no sense to me at all. So yes, we need to sell Eddie Nketiah, preferably on a permanent deal right away, but I could live with yet another loan with an obligation to buy, provided the obligation to buy is at least his transfer value. If we don't manage to get his transfer value this summer, well then it's fine. He still has three years left on his deal. We can keep him for one more season as a good depth option, which he always has been a good depth option at just that. And then when he has two years left on his deal next summer, we will still be in the same position. We could just try sell him for his market value. His market value will probably go down. It probably won't be 30 million euros, but at least we would have kept him for another year as a good depth option. 